welcome to my channel and happy October. Yes, it is finally the start of the Halloween season. Non-debatably, of course. I mean, if you're watching this channel, you probably had Halloween decor up for at least a month now, maybe even two, I don't know. But as far as the entire world is concerned, it is now the start of the Halloween season. And it's been a little bit since I've uploaded a video, or at least it feels like quite a long time. It's only been like a couple weeks at this point, but to me, it's felt like forever. So I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of a life update on what happened. So last week I went on vacation to Orlando to visit Universal Studios Florida for their Halloween Horror Nights event. I had an absolute blast this year. The lineup was just fantastic. The event overall is probably my favorite Halloween Horror Nights event that I've been to in Orlando since I've been going since 2021. It was an absolute blast, had the funnest time. I came back on Saturday of last week and I was planning on filming this video then but unfortunately the world universe had different plans for me and I ended up catching COVID Yes, after three years, COVID finally got me and I just don't have that badge of honor anymore, which kind of sucks, but it honestly wasn't too bad for me. It didn't wipe me out completely, but I did unfortunately end up losing my smell for most of this week. As a candle enthusiast and someone who does this as a hobby, obviously that really uh, got to me and it really was not the funnest but fortunately for me, my smell started coming back a couple days ago. I'm about at like a 70% out of 100 on my smell. So I am able to burn some candles. I can't smell them as well as I used to, but hopefully in the next coming week, it'll be back to 100%. It's come back pretty fast considering how quickly it went away. So yeah, that's kind of just what I've been dealing with this week. And part of the reason why I did not get to upload a video sooner for you guys but yes, I am back now. I am fully recovered. I don't have any more symptoms. I'm basically 100% uh, except for my smell, which obviously sucks. But yeah, in other news, another little life update thing. As soon as I came back from Orlando, I found out that I was accepted into the Kringle Candle Ambassadors program, which is really, really exciting for me. If you guys have been following this page for the last couple of months, or if you've been following me on Instagram for the past couple of years, you guys would know that I have been purchasing Kringle Candles for the past three years. I genuinely love their products. And I know a couple of you were asking, hey, when are you going to become a Kringle Candle Ambassador? Or are you interested in doing that? And so I applied and and thankfully they let me into their program and I am now part of their system and that's really really exciting for me and that's really important for what today's video is finally getting to the topic of today's video I have my top 10 favorite Halloween candles of all time to kick off October here. You're going to be seeing a lot of Kringle candles on this video, which is why it's so exciting that I am now part of the Ambassadors program because you can use the code Wicked Doughboy for 15% off your purchase at Kringle Candle. And that's really exciting because a few of the candles that I am going to be talking about today are actually still available on the Kringle Candle website for you guys to purchase. So using the code Wicked Doughboy will get you 15% off of those candles. I'll make sure to mention which ones are available and which ones are not. But as always with these top 10 candle videos, I have three honorable mentions that I would like to talk about before we get into the actual list. So let's go ahead and jump into what my list is. All right, so first up on my honorable mentions list, I would like to talk about Kringle Candles Apparition. So this was a 2022 release. It was new for last year. It didn't return this year. And honestly, I'm very surprised that it didn't. This was one of the absolute winners from me of the Kringle Candle collection last year. I have talked to a few people about last year's collection and I've kind of gotten the same answers as my own opinion, which last year they released a ton of new candles for the Halloween collection and not all of them landed for me personally. A lot of them I was kind of lukewarm on but this one really surprised me in the collection. It was one of my absolute favorites to burn last year. It's super spooky. I love the label on this with the little ghost girl on there. It's actually like UV activated. So this ghost on the front is actually like glow in the dark if you put a UV light on it, which is really cool. They didn't do that this year, which I mean, I get it because it's probably expensive to make and not a lot of people really even do that with these in the first place. But I thought that was a really cool touch with this label here. 
So yeah, this was one of the ones that really surprised me. It was a powerhouse last year when I burned it. It was super strong. This one's a really, really unique blend of like a authentic wet leather. It's very damp in this candle. It's, it's got a very prominent wetness to it, but that wet leather is like mixed in with this crushed vetiver and smoky notes mixed in with a little bit of like moss and patchouli. Honestly, the label doesn't really evoke this, but this to me kind of feels like a haunted house that's on a swamp. The wet leather mixed in with that moss just gives this kind of like bog feeling to it. It's a little bit spicy as well. There's almost like a little bit of like a black peppery type note to this one. This is one I'm kind of bummed did not return this year because I definitely would have purchased it again. It's very, very spooky. Leaning almost to a little bit scary. Like I don't feel like a lot of people would like this one. Unfortunately, I don't think this one really found its audience because I don't see a lot of people talking about this candle very much, but there's definitely a niche audience out there that I've heard rave about this candle and I'm definitely part of that club. Very eerie, very mood setting. There is a definite atmosphere to this one that is just really perfect and creepy. This is one that I think is like a prime candidate to return for next year, hopefully. I think it's a very gorgeous, elegant scent. Done extremely well. I would love for this one to return. And that is why it lands here in the honorable mentions. All right, so up next for honorable mention number two, we have another Kringle candle, and that is Lady in White. Now, this was part of the Kringle Candle 2021 collection, the first year that I ever started collecting the Kringle Candle Halloween line. And that year, all of the new scents that they released were absolutely gorgeous. They were amazing. And this is one that has missed the roster the past couple of years. This has not returned since it was first released in 2021. And it's another one that is kind of a head scratcher as to why, because this is such a gorgeous, scary scent. This is one of those ones that the label perfectly encapsulates the scent. What you get out of this straight up is just a freshly cut grass, very strong lily of the valley in this one. So if you're not a floral lover, you would probably not enjoy this candle. And then you get a nice hint of like woody notes in the background and patchouli. That fresh cut grass just hits you right in the face, followed by the lily of the valley. It is super strong. This one is another one of those powerhouse scents that when you light it, it's very, very strong. Strong. When I first got this one, honestly, it was too strong. I was very scared to burn this when I first received it. And I actually did not get to burning this candle until the springtime of this year, because this is actually a kind of a perfect spring candle, if you really think about it. I mean, it's definitely spooky. It's definitely scary. You can get away with burning this in the Halloween time. But when you smell this candle up front, it definitely very much smells like spring, just because for whatever reason, that fresh cut grass smell, I always just associate with the springtime. So this is actually a really good candidate to burn for like halfway to Halloween, which is actually why I got to burn this candle for the first time this year. Halfway to Halloween always lands on April 30th or May 1st, whichever day you decide to celebrate that. And obviously that is still within the bounds of springtime burning for me. So I always love burning it at that time, but you definitely can get away with burning this in the Halloween season as well. And I definitely plan on doing so. Yeah, this is another one of those candles that I hope returns in future years. I love the label on this. It's super iconic with the like ghost bride on the front in the spooky forest. It's very creepy, an amazing scent. The closest thing that you can kind of get to this one now, I would say is like seven days. Unfortunately, that is sold out on the Kringle website this year. But yeah, I hope this one returns in future years because I would definitely repurchase it again. Absolutely love this one. And that is why it lands on honorable mention number two. All right, in coming in at honorable mention number three, the last one to round out my list, we have a certified classic pumpkin carving from Bath and Body Works. Now, I had a hard time not putting this on my actual top 10 list, but the only reason that I didn't is because I really kind of consider this more of a fall candle. I mean, it's in the Halloween packaging, and this is my favorite packaging that it's ever come in. I love this single wick packaging with the orange wax. I've never burned this one. This one's purely for decoration for me. But yeah, it's not an overwhelmingly spooky Halloween scent. This is just a classic fall staple. It is the best pumpkin spice candle out there, in my opinion. And 
mean, honestly, calling it a pumpkin spice candle isn't really doing it justice. It's not really pumpkin spice. It's just a really nice, simple, pure pumpkin scent with some brown sugar in there. Absolutely addicting. One of my favorite Halloween candles of all time. All right, now to kick off the top 10 of my favorite Halloween candles of all time, we have Purple Pumpkins from Kringle Candle, or now it's known as Halloween in the main line. So this was first released last year and it was an instant favorite to me. I know this one's a little bit controversial now with people buying it and thinking that it's a black licorice candle and then being disappointed that it's not actually a black licorice candle. It's not really pumpkin spice. It's not really black licorice. It's a marriage of the two. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You get the pumpkin spice in there, the clove, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and then you get that nice like fennel black licorice scent. It's not Jelly Belly black jelly beans that's in this one. It feels more like a gourmand black licorice. Definitely like something higher end. It's not the cheap black licorice. But honestly, that doesn't matter to me. I just think this is such an absolutely gorgeous scent. And them putting it in the two wick main line is very smart under the name of Halloween because this actually is like a quintessential Halloween scent. Like you really can't encapsulate the Halloween season better than what this candle does in my opinion. This is also another one of those powerhouses at least in the three wick. I have not burned this new version this year but I have heard it's very strong and that definitely tracks for the version that I burned last year. This was an absolute powerhouse in my room and obviously it was newly released last year but it has become such a staple for me. I need to have this every season from here on out and I'm really hoping that they continue to bring this one back or at least I guess this one back in the years to come because this is such a quintessential Halloween scent to me. Done absolutely gorgeous. Love it and that's why it comes in at number 10. All right and coming in at number nine on my list we have Bath and Body Works Wicked Apple. Now I'm convinced I'm like the number one fan of this candle. I really wish that it comes back every single year. This was released in 2021. Unfortunately it has not been released again and I just don't know why. I think this is Bath & Body Works best caramel apple scent. I know that's going to be a little bit controversial since there are so many Cider Lane lovers out there. I like Cider Lane too, but I just think Wicked Apple does it so much better. The Granny Smith, the sour apple note in this is absolutely killer. And the sweet caramel goes with it so perfectly. I know people have called this like the celery candle in the past and I just don't see it. It came out in 2021 in the gorgeous wallpaper three wick design that was absolutely iconic amazing the green ghost wallpaper is like one of my favorite candle designs of all time yeah and this one is just so addicting to me I have already burned through a full one this season and I'm kind of sad about that I only have three of these single wicks left well I guess technically two now since I burned through one so I'm going to have to kind of ration this one for the next few seasons until hopefully they bring it back Caramel apples are one of my favorite Halloween and fall time treats and I just think this candle is like a 100% accurate representation of that. It's absolutely amazing and cozy and I just really hope that this one is in the lineup next year. If it's not, I mean I have my two single wicks so I won't be too disappointed but Bath & Body Works you got to realize that this is just like one of your best Halloween scents that you've made in a long time and yeah it absolutely deserves to be on my top 10 favorite Halloween candles of all time list. All right, so coming in at the number eight spot on my list, we have Yankee Candles Black Magic. Now, I talked about this one recently in my Yankee Candle haul video, but this is such a nice mood setting Halloween candle. It's a very elegant in the way that it is formulated. You get that really nice like witch's brew patchouli out of this one, but it's mixed with a nice incense and leather that really creates a nice like sensual mood for your room if you're into the more like elegant, mysterious kind of vampire vibe of Halloween. This is one that I wish that they would lean into every single year. They don't put this one in the main line of the Yankee Candles. They kind of relegate to pouring it for the Yankee Candle outlets, and I just don't understand why. This is one of their best Halloween scents. It 
encapsulates the season so perfectly and they kind of just shove it into a store that for most people it's kind of hard to get i know that yankee candle outlets aren't really out there as much as yankee candle stores well at least now i know a lot of the stores are closing so i'm not actually sure how available this is to everyone if you can get to a yankee candle outlet to at least give this one a smell i would highly recommend it and it will last you literally forever i've had this for three years now i burn it quite frequently but this black paraffin wax just does not burn I'm convinced i'll be burning this for the next like 10 years so it's well worth it for the price i think and it's one of the rare Yankee Candle signature jars in the paraffin that actually performs decently well. This thing isn't going to blow the roof off your house or anything, but it definitely is very fragrant in at least a small room. But yeah, this is such an absolutely amazing spooky Halloween fragrance from Yankee. I wish that they would put it in the signature line, but that looks like it's not going to happen. If it does, know that I will be buying like 30 of them. I absolutely love this fragrance and that is why it comes in at number eight. So coming in at number seven here is another Yankee Candle fragrance, one that I'm actually burning behind me right now and that is my favorite Yankee Halloween scent, Jack-O-Lantern. I also just got through talking about this one on my Yankee Candle Halloween video. If you have not seen that, you can click up there to watch it and see me go over my entire full thoughts. But this is such a beautiful pumpkin spice scent. It's not your basic pumpkin spice. It is kind of a savory pumpkin spice, if you will. You get the cinnamon, you get the clove, you get the nutmeg in there, of course, just like all pumpkin spice scents. But there's a nice savoriness to this, like almost like a pumpkin soup type vibe to it. It's sweet, it's spicy. They list like a black tea and like a ginger. It, there's a lot of ginger in this one. It's very nice. And there's also like a carrot note in there too. I'm not sure if you can actually smell the carrot or if it's just power of suggestion, but that also kind of leads to this one being a little bit more savory. This is one of those ones that I just need every single season. It's super addicting. It's one of my favorite ones to burn during the daytime in the fall. It just creates a nice cozy atmosphere and it is a great alternative to the more basic pumpkin spice scents out there. But yeah, this wouldn't be a Wicked Doughboy top 10 Halloween scents list if I did not include Jack-O-Lantern on there. All right, so coming in at number Number six on this list, we have Kringle Candles Scarecrow. Now, this is another amazing scent that came from the Kringle Candle 2021 collection. You're going to see a lot of those on this list specifically. This is definitely a masculine scent that doesn't really lean into the overly cologne -y scent category. What you get from this is a really nice tobacco, sweet tobacco in this mixed with a nice leather and bergamot. It is elegantly done. One of those addicting scents that I love burning during the daytime. It's very mood setting. It's very cozy. This is one of those ones that you light it up and people are going to come in your room and be like, oh, it smells really nice in here. What are you burning? And while it doesn't lean into cologne territory, I definitely would wear this if it was a body care fragrance. This one slowly grew on me since I bought it last year. I just could not stop burning this one. Obviously, if you have gotten uh, any of these large jars of the Kringle candles, you know that they take a long time to burn through the whole thing. And I got through about halfway on this one in last season alone. And yeah, this is just such a nice, sophisticated scent that I just continue to want to burn. And fortunately, this one is still available on the website if you would like to try this one out. Out if you're into a sweet tobacco, if you like leather scents, if you love bergamot, this one is still available on the website. I think there's quite a few actually. So yeah, if this one interests you, definitely go ahead and try that one out. And the label is also absolutely gorgeous. It's got this nice metallic on there with the sun and the scarecrow actually has like a little spooky face on there. It doesn't come up well on the camera, but you can definitely see it in person. And yeah, the overall package just continues to amaze me. Love this one. I might actually burn this one as soon as this video is done. But yeah, that is why it comes in at number six. All right, now just cracking the top five of my list here, we have 
Goose Creek's Trick or Treat. This is the one that I absolutely love kicking off the spooky season with. It is a very fun Halloween fragrance as opposed to a spooky one. This is a gorgeous apple cider scent. If you love apple cider scents, definitely are gonna wanna target this one. It's beautiful how conceptual and fun this candle is. You got that apple cider mixed in with a really surprising and nice graham cracker, almost like a graham cracker pie crust type note in there mixed in with a nice spiced pumpkin as well. And in the background of it all, you get a beautiful like milk chocolate creaminess, but don't let that fool you. This is not a chocolate fragrance. Me personally, I don't really like chocolate fragrance fragrances at all but in this I think it's beautifully done. It almost feels like you are having like an apple cider at a Halloween party back in like middle school. They're giving you the apple cider as a drink and then as like a little sweet treat dessert they give you like graham crackers and some milk chocolate. It's almost got a s'mores quality but you're just missing that marshmallow note. I already burned through my entire of the three wick version that I bought this year. It's one of those addicting sense that I just can't get enough of. It is very sweet and it is also very strong, but I think that lends itself very well to the Halloween feel of it all. And this label specifically is perfectly encapsulates the season. In my opinion, they changed it for this year for the three wick. It is now this design, which is also good and very spooky for the Halloween season. But I think this is just absolutely perfect. And yeah, it is an absolute staple for me in my Halloween burning season. And that's why it comes here straight down the middle on my list. All right, now coming in here at number four, we have one that actually kind of surprised me that it ended up this high on my list. But the more I burned it and the more that I thought about it, I thought, hey, you know what? This one actually deserves to be very high. And it's a candle that I have talked to the death about on this channel this season so far. So let's go ahead and do it one more time for you guys. That is Homework's Haunted Woods. Now, what more do I have to say about this candle other than it's just a perfect, elegant Halloween fragrance? This is actually my favorite Homeworks candle of all time. The dark plum mixed with the black rose in here is absolutely gorgeous. To me, what this smells like is kind of like blue raspberry candy mixed with some floral. Now me, obviously I prefer a little bit of a spookier fragrance, which is why it doesn't crack the top three. But honestly, as an elegant kind of romantic side of Halloween, like think vampires, think like Victorian manners, think like almost like funeral parlor, if you will, like Phantom of the Opera. It definitely fits that vibe very, very well. This one is just absolutely addicting to me. I cannot stop burning this candle. It creates a very nice, very macabre, very cozy atmosphere for my Halloween burning season. I couldn't imagine not having this one. And that is why it ranks so high on my list. All right, so now we are getting into the big three, the top three of my list. Coming in the bronze spot, I have Blood Moon from Kringle Candle. This is another one that was released in 2021. It did not return last year, and thankfully it returned this year, so I definitely stocked up. This is another one that is absolutely bewitching and addicting. I absolutely adore this scent. It's very fruity and very incense heavy. You get a really nice blood orange in this one mixed with some pomegranate and some actual tamarind in there. And then it's laid over on top this gorgeous incense scent. This is another one that's absolutely very mood setting. Think of like the fortune teller's tent in The Wolfman. That's what I think that this smells like. This is one I am so happy that they brought back because it is way too good of a scent to not keep coming back. This is a very conceptual, spooky Halloween fragrance, but it's also welcoming and inviting. Definitely one that like entices the senses and puts you in that strictly Halloween 
feel. The top three of my list is just those ones that if I didn't have any Halloween candles at all and I only had these three candles, I would be perfectly happy with burning all the time. I cannot say any more good things about this fragrance. This is just one of those 10 out of 10 candles that I get really excited that I get to burn during the season. And fortunately, this one also is still available on the Kringle Candle website. So if you want to try this one out, if you're really into a nice fruity blood orange type scent. If you really like incense in your candles, 100% recommend this one. Try it out. But yeah, absolutely adore this one. It deserves to be in my top three Halloween candles of all time. And this is one of my favorite candle labels of all time. That moon in the background with the like reflectiveness on it with the wolf in front is just iconic. This is such a Halloween feel to it. But yeah, absolutely amazing. All right, and coming in at number two on this list is actually a semi-cousin to Blood Moon, and that is Sleepy Hollow from Kringle Candle. This is another 2021 candle that came back. It's come back the past three years, and I understand why it sells out first every year. This is just another absolute 10 out of 10 candle for me. It encapsulates Halloween so perfectly, especially with the Headless Horseman label on here. You've got the pumpkin, you got the horseman, you got the horse. He's in the spooky forest. This label is just iconic to me, and the scent is as well. You get that same nice incense note that is in Blood Moon, but instead you get a nice pumpkin spiced caramel. It leans almost a little bit gourmand, like a pumpkin spice caramel pastry, but instead of the dough note, you get a nice base of smoky cedar wood and clove that really bring a warmth out of this one. And that smoky cedar wood with the pumpkin spice and the incense really just creates such a insane Halloween atmosphere. This is one of those like deserted island candles I would bring along with me if I could. This is one that I absolutely have to have every single season. If I don't have this in the years to come, I will be very sad. This one is unfortunately sold out for the season, but it seems to be coming back every single year. So if you did not purchase this one this season, I highly, highly recommend getting it next season for sure. Couldn't recommend this one enough, and that's why it ranks so high on my list. All right, and here we have made it to the number one spot. And if you watch this channel or you have followed me on Instagram, you would know exactly what this candle is. And that is Kringle Candles Witch's Cauldron. The OG, this is the one that Blood Moon and Sleepy Hollow were both based on. This is what Halloween smells like to me. I can only burn this candle during October. It just makes it that much more special to me. This is the candle that I look forward to burning all year. And it truly is the best Halloween candle of all time. You get a nice, intense, spooky, smoky cedar wood in this one mixed in with the warm clove and a little bit of citrus underneath on cold you don't really get the citrus as much but when it's burning you get a nice like cherry like citrus with all the smoke I've heard it described as like you're in the forest with a campfire and somebody has a cherry Coke or a cherry Dr. Pepper and they just throw it on the campfire and the campfire is out. It's a little bit wet, but that intense smoke is there and it's caught that cherry like cola. This one is absolutely bewitching, absolutely gorgeous. It is the spookiest Halloween scent there is. It's not for everybody. I've heard people call this the Band-Aid candle. I don't get that personally, but it definitely is spooky and it's not really for everyone. Even though I feel like this is a very welcoming candle, in my opinion. I know a lot of people have said, no, it's way too spooky. It's way too uninviting. But to me, I think it's very enticing. Like I've had friends that aren't really into candles or burning or into like intense smells. And they've smelled this one while I've had it burning. And they've actually been like, ooh, that's really, really nice. So I think it's a little bit more inviting than people give it credit for. But I definitely do understand why people say it's not for the faint of heart. But yeah, this is my ultimate like desert island candle. If I could only ever have one candle to burn for the rest of my life, it would be this one. And I would still limit it to the Halloween season because you cannot burn this out of season. At least for me that I just couldn't see myself doing that. But if I could only burn one candle a year during the Halloween season, it would be this. 
that's how much I absolutely love it. I don't know if this candle could ever be topped for me. But yeah, it's absolutely iconic. Hopefully it comes back next year. If it does and you have for some reason not tried this one out yet, I highly recommend it. And yeah, that's why it places as number one on my top 10 Halloween candles of all time. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 Halloween candles of all time. I would love to know what your guys' favorite Halloween candles are. Leave that down in the comments below. This is my absolute favorite season of all time, obviously. And I just decorated the rest of my house last night. AMC has Fear Fest on now. So it's just Halloween movies for the rest of the season. I'm just enjoying all of the spookiness, all of the atmosphere. It's just here. If any of the candles on my list interested you guys I will make sure to put the ones that I know are available in the description below I know for a fact the couple of Kringle candles that I listed are still available and obviously you can use code wicked Dollboy for 15% off your purchase now unfortunately my code only works on full priced items and I believe the Halloween is still full priced but sometimes during October they put them on sale if they're still available which is still great and you can still use my code to get a little bit of a discount on the like route shipping protection but anyways i'll make sure to list everything in the description below if you're interested i'd like to thank you guys for watching this video and supporting my channel because without you guys i wouldn't be able to be here right now and i'm just so appreciative for you guys watching and interacting and liking and subscribing and everything it really means the world to me so anyways leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you want more candle and spooky content because i always have more on the way very soon until the next one I will see you guys later. I hope you all have a very happy October, happy spooky season. But yeah, until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye.